The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Vikings holding the football. And they've got it here with a first down. Give. This is Cook. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, Cook, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and shut them down. from the gun on third. Open man is stealing his complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Thielen with his first catch, and it's a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. up front and I think this is going to be on Minnesota false start offense and that'll set him back five still first down Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Throwing his Cousins. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that, because when the game starts to move fast, and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Now a second down throw for Cousins. His throw incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Again, it's Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. First grab so far for Diggs. It's a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. 
They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. A three yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is gonna change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going and really the offensive line not helping him much. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. They go play action here on first down. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed crossing route. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Set, move, now a play fake here on first down. And Stills over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to report. Give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. First down, Fitzpatrick. 
Man open right side. It's the tight end Clay. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. The completion good for three and it's second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Set, ready, ready. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Fitzpatrick, got a man, it's Amendola, reached the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Nice catch right there, brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before hey! the break. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. Flush to his right. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. This will be caught at about the five. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Ready! 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 From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Charles Clay from six yards away. And the Dolphins are in for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. 